Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Brannon. This is my husband, Mark. How are you? We're here in Omaha, Nebraska, and we're happy to work, be working with Sarah on a pollinator project where we planted 12 different native Nebraska pollinator plants. Five years ago, we found this blank canvas right in the middle of Omaha. We're off of North 72nd Street here in, in central Omaha. And uh, we found our blank canvas and we started from there starting to plant it. Uh, for the first four years or so, we focused on annual vegetables selling at farmers markets to some local restaurants as well as direct sales. Uh, it's just the two of us here with Ollie and Lou working on the farm. Uh, and annual vegetables we found uh, is a lot of backbreaking work year after year, sometimes turning beds over two or three times in a season. Uh, so we began to look at diversifying and moving more towards perennial uh, production. Uh, and that's when we turned to SARE and began to research our project. Uh, we decided on the native plants to help the pollinator population here in Omaha, uh, not only to provide food for them, but also uh, habitat. And so these, uh, this nearly 2,000 square foot garden that we put in uh, will provide that for them. And as, you, as we walk around the garden, you'll see that uh, it's, it's doing just that. These native Nebraska plants are also valuable for our products. So we do some soap making, candle making. We infuse a lot of the flowers and herbs that we grow into our skin, our healing balms for skin. So we'll have lots of different uses for these plants. We've also found a market for them uh, in the cut flower market. We'd never really done many cut flowers in the past, but uh, with the new patch, we just this weekend were able to provide flowers for a wedding, uh, adding another, another revenue stream. In addition to that, uh, these plants are gonna be here forever, they're perennials, and we have uh, a plant sale twice a year. And so ultimately, once our patch gets firmly established, we'll be able to divide these plants and sell them to other people in our city so that they can utilize them in their landscaping, providing more habitat throughout the city for these pollinators. And with our records that we'll be taking for the rest of the year and throughout the course of the project, uh, with, in our final report, we'll be able to determine uh, if, this, if these plants, these native plants, are able to produce income on par with annual vegetable production, uh, as well as uh, we'll be tracking some of our inputs, uh, namely our labor. One thing we found, uh, as we have been offering some of these native plants at the plant sale and talking to people about them, uh, it really opens up their view about not only can they have beautiful landscaping in their yard, but also it can benefit the, po the pollinator population as well. Um, and so you don't have to put in uh, annual vegetable, uh, excuse me, annual flowers that you found at a big box store. You can. Uh, you can put in a habitat that will be there for generations to come, um, beautifying our city. And as we, as we work here in our yard, we, our acre and a half butts up to 12 different properties. And I can't tell you how many times uh, farming in general, being out here working in the yard in good weather and bad weather uh, has prompted conversations. People coming out asking you, hey, what's that? What are you growing? Or what is that tall plant right there? Um, and then being able to explain to them what we're doing, uh, it opens up their worldview. Uh, it opens up our worldview by connecting to some neighbors that we might not otherwise be able to. It creates um, community for us. It creates community mm -hmm. and, and, and then it creates a bridge for us to move forward um, as neighbors to create a better community. <laughs>